five minutes. Thank you, Chairman. Um, Mr. Secretary, you must have noticed, um, you must feel it, you must see it, that there's a crisis on our southern border. I, I know that you say there isn't, uh, the administration say that there isn't, but um, if you speak with, you, you can feel the frustration of so many Congress people that are even here today questioning you. The, the bottom line is illegal border crossings that are at 21 year high. Statistics don't lie. Uh, the bottom line is you can see the videos, you can visit these sites, you can see the pictures. It's just all there, it's real, it's real. And it's not something in the past. Frankly, I don't even want to talk about the past. I want to talk about what's happening now. Uh, you know, over uh, 150,000 people a month and the children. Somebody mentioned what a wonderful job we're doing with the children. Well, let me tell you what's happening to children. Children are being abused as they cross the border. Children are being abused before they get to the border. They're being used as drug mules. They're being sexually abused. Uh, so are women and families. I mean, this is horrific. It's inhumane. It's wrong. Uh, I, I feel like I'm in bizarro world when we say that it doesn't exist. It does. We can see it. You can go there. You can look at it. It is there. It's there now, right now. Uh, our border towns, processing facilities, and the Customs and Border Protection agents are completely overwhelmed, yet the President's budget proposal has a 0%, 0% increase in Homeland Security funding for 2022. And furthermore, and I think this is bizarre to me, the budget does not mention border security. Regardless of your partisan positions on things, or anybody's positions on things, uh, and I'm not trying to give you a hard time, but it, how can you have a budget, a 72 page report and not mention budget security? Whatever you think about it, we know that something needs to be done. The Customs and Border Protection fiscal year 2022 request is almost 300 million below the 21 level. And there is no call for funding for additional border patrol agents or customs and border patrol officers. They are suffering down there. The people who are working there are suffering. The people who live there are suffering. The people in the country are suffering. And quite frankly, the undocumented that are coming across are going through hell in many cases, as I mentioned. We aren't treating children well. The Customs and Border Protection Procurement Construction and Improvements account was cut in the president's budget by almost 50% from the 21 enacted level. It's awful. In addition, I'm concerned that the president's budget left out necessary funding for Coast Guard needs. And if we get time, we could talk about that a little bit later. I'm grateful that the budget includes uh, the much needed recapitalization project for training in Cape May, which is in my district. The budget does little to address the $2 billion backlog in the service currently. We need to address the aging IT infrastructure of the Coast Guard without a doubt. This budget doesn't accomplish that. And it spends so much and it doesn't accomplish that. That's, again, the bizarre, I don't know what other word to use, part of it all. Now, Mr. Secretary, as you know, President Biden issued a proclamation on his first day in office to pause construction of the border wall. Why? I don't know, but he did. And to pause the, and pause the obligation of funds for the wall. The Government Accountability Office issued a report on Tuesday this week suggesting that the Department of Homeland Security submit a timeline to the committee dealing, how DHS, dealing with how DHS plans to obligate its congressionally appropriated funds. This timeline is necessary to ensure that this committee maintains strong oversight over the department and the administration does not replace priorities established through the legislative process with its own agenda. Will you please commit to providing the committee with this timeline? Uh, Congressman, I, um, I have to respond. Uh, I, to, sure, I want you to respond. To, Mr. Secretary, I want you to respond. Please allow me to respond to some of your preliminary remarks. They require a response. I share your position that the smugglers and the traffickers who exploit children are heinous criminals that need to be addressed. And in fact, we have a number of law enforcement operations uh, to elevate the attack on those smuggling and trafficking organizations over and above the work that was previously done. Number one. Number two, we are in fact 
addressing children in a more humane way than was previously the case. In the prior administration, Congressman, uh, unaccompanied children were expelled. We are now receiving those children and assessing the claims for humanitarian relief to which they are entitled under American law. We are no longer expelling those children, those unaccompanied oh, I, I, children. I don't mean to interrupt you, Mr. Secretary, but yes, after they've gone through hell to get here, after we are, are not committed to the agreement we had with the Northern Triangle and with Mexico, which was much more secure, they were more secure, our country was more secure. We I have left the security now than we had then. Gentlemen's time from New Jersey has expired.